if you don't pay your bills, if you have bad credit, they're going to turn the card off. This has been announced. I saw Reg in 2002 before Homeland Security even got funding in a congressional round table. It was a big, four big tables together in a square. And he was explaining it. You're going to have to have this ID to have a job. You're going to have to have this ID. There'll be no underground economy, no garage sales allowed, no more roadside sales. Uh, everything's going to be controlled. We're going to have TSA in the streets, at the malls, on the buses, in the trains, checkpoints. The feds are going to take over the local cities through the threat fusion centers, through FEMA. And he was saying how great this was and how, and then now they say no fly list, a million two hundred thousand and growing on it. Now you'll be a no gun buy list. And they openly are announcing that we'll just say you can't own a gun. No judge, no jury, you're not arrested. And their own Homeland Security documents leaked to us that we put out from good people inside. A federal marshal gave it to us. I'll just leave it at that. Says gun owners and veterans are the number one threat to America. It's all for the American people. It was never about al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda's CIA. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, you know, you probably can add a few other things to that list, too. Uh, gun control, Federal Reserve, if you're against the United Nations or North American Union, if you even mention the word New World Order, if you have a problem with your income tax or being radio frequency identified with an RFID chip and track, that's a problem for them. If you uh, are against abortion or illegal immigration, you know, those are their main topics. That seem if you're up. protesting the Fed, and now they're saying, if you say no to the naked body scanner, don't put your wife and kids in it to scan your naked body, they're going to put you on a no-fly list as a terrorist. I mean, this government is completely rogue and criminal. Absolutely. And, you know, this, this all ties into, uh, like you were mentioning before, you know, people who own private property and who believe that their private property rights outweigh any, uh, you know, federal intervention or even states coming in and saying that if you don't pay your taxes, we're going to take that property away from you. Those types of issues. Uh, I know that this is really big right now in Kansas City. Um, in fact, we, you know, we covered the uh, the 10th Amendment as part of the conclusion in this documentary as a solution. Um, and what we're talking about, of course, is uh, states' rights, uh, the, the citizens, the citizenry going back and, uh, electing sheriffs in their communities that they know uphold and stand for the Constitution, and then, again, getting involved yourself, running for these local offices where politics actually begins, because if you can affect, you know, if you can influence your local politics, that's where it all begins, and that trickles up to your state, which is where it's supposed to stop. But, unfortunately, the, you know, the feds have found a way to sneak in there and try to withhold, you know, federal aid or funding for whatever reason if you don't sign on to their new legislation or whatever they have in store for you. And That's it. Yeah, exactly. We've got to say no to the federal government that itself is run by offshore private banks openly. And we've just got to say you're illegitimate, you're criminal, it's over. Your Northcom isn't going to march against us. I mean, have you seen in the AP where they're announcing 400,000 troops to now occupy the U.S.? I mean, this is real, folks. This is real. And no amount of thumb sucking or denial is going to stop it. Only getting up, getting angry, getting focused, getting Camp FEMA, getting the Obama deception, getting the New World Order. The new film we're also selling at Infowars.com. A lot of stuff getting announced, a lot of stuff happening right now. Get it, get it all out to everybody. William Lewis is our guest. We're going to play a little five minute sneak peek of the film on the other side and go to more of your calls. This is Alex Jones. Have you heard of the millionaire patriot? Well, you should. He has a free handgun and five days of firearms training waiting for you. That's right. You can attend five days of world-class gun training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and secure a 30-state concealed weapons permit, all for pennies on the dollar. Plus, if you act fast, the Millionaire Patriot will give you a free Springfield Armory XD pistol in the caliber of your choice. I believe now is the time that you and your family need to be armed and trained to levels that exceed law enforcement and military standards. Front Sight provides such training without any boot camp mentality or drill instructor attitudes. This is real. Don't miss out. Secure a Front Sight defensive handgun course plus a 30-state concealed weapons permit for pennies on the dollar and get your free handgun. Go to FrontSight.com today. That's F-R-O-N-T-S-I-G-H-T.com. Go to FrontSight.com for your training and free gun. 
We're going to continue with Wayne, Vincent, Sam in the Netherlands, Virgil in Ohio, and others in just a moment. we got William Lewis with us, the maker of Camp Fema. You can start pre-ordering it today. It's going to be shipping out in the next 15, 16, 17 days or so. The official release date is the 18th of September. I feature heavily in it and consulted on it. This is a great film. This is the truth. This needs to be seen to stop this whole agenda. We need to make this a big film. Let's go ahead and go to a uh, clip here. Uh, some of the selects from Camp FEMA. Here it is. And technology has created a new brand of terrorism. There were persons who, for whatever reason, came to view their home country as the enemy. The kind of right-wing, religious-based domestic terrorism. Disturbing news tonight about homegrown terror. Part of this is big change in the White House, a new cultural experience, and some of the crazies are coming out of their closet. Right now, it looks like there is no connection between the men arrested and any known terrorist cell. Homegrown. Uh, yeah, homegrown, I should say. Uh, folks, we've got a very serious situation here. I'm holding what is called the right-wing extremism, current economic and political climate, fueling resurgence and radicalization and recruitment. And in it, we talked about the fact that they define pro-lifers as domestic terrorists. They put this in a Department of Homeland Security uh, document, this official assessment, now saying pro-lifers, people that believe in end-time prophecies, people that uh, are opposed to the administration's position on immigration, uh, those of us that are standing up for the sanctity of life and for the sanctity of marriage, all of those are now potential, and this is what they're saying, domestic terrorists. It's a terrorist next door that could be our bigger threat. They call people who believe in the sanctity of life, who believe in owning firearms, who believe in serving their country in the military and coming back, who are very concerned about the policies that this nation is embarking on, spending too much money, taxing too much. It's all listed right here. These are the domestic right-wing extremists. One million names under the watchful eye of the United States. America's so-called terrorist watch list has hit the record number, according to one of the country's most prominent civil liberties groups. That's a lot of people to keep track of. They're adding new people all the time. It's a secret list that you don't know really quite how one gets on, and you don't know how you get off. They're coming out and profiling huge groups of people. You know, if you voted for a certain political candidate, you should be considered a potential threat. And you couple that with things like the Patriot Act, where if you are a threat in their eyes, you can be held without access to judge, jury, and, and without access to a lawyer or even to your family. That's very concerning because we, we've watched our country go through and do this to brown people, you know, overseas. They're rounding up enemy combatants and they're putting them in camps and they are torturing them. That is a fact. We know that. In Missouri, a new document meant to help Missouri law enforcement agencies identify militia members or domestic terrorists has drawn criticism. The February 20 report called the Modern Militia Movement mentions such red flags as political bumper stickers for third-party candidates, such as Ron Paul, who ran for president, talk of conspiracy theories such as the plan for a superhighway linking Canada to Mexico, and possession of subversive literature. So the, the state police in Missouri have been told that if you see a car with a bumper sticker that opposes the so-called creation of North American Union, the silver superhighway that you are probably following a militia member that you are following an anti-government radical if you see a car with a bumper sticker that says ron paul for president you might be dealing with a violent radical exercise extreme All right, pause. direct from austin coast to coast and in your face you're listening to the alex jones broadcasting network We've got the sneak peeks and trailers and all the rest of it up at InfoWars.com. If you want to start pre-ordering Camp FIBA, ships out on or before September 18th. This film, New World Order on DVD, expanded with a bunch of great extras that I'm, of course, in and also consulted on. We're selling it available at InfoWars.com, discounted out of the gates. And uh, Gary Francis is joining us coming up in the next segment with the balance of the hour. The producer of Camp FEMA with the director right now, William Lewis. I want to continue right now with your phone calls. I'm also going to smatter in some other top stories we haven't gotten to yet coming up in this hour. Wayne in Canada, you're on the air. Welcome. What's on your mind? 
Hi, how are you, Alex? I'm a first-time caller. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I just want to let you know that my wife um, was listening to your show for the last year and a half, two years, and I am now just becoming a believer in the last few months. But she has uh, heard your comment about the government doesn't own the sun yet. Okay? And we both believe that, of course. Now, what she has done is filed an actual document with the government to claim the power of the sun, the energy of the sun. And we have the business number, and now we have the documents for the patent. Oh, that's an idea. And then, because you can also sue them over their chemtrailing, that's torturous yes. interference right. when they try to block the sun out. Uh, 